Alright guys, today we have a 4v4 on a Ghost Lake. Not a very common map, hence the reason I'm bringing this game out. The first team consists of Alec playing as Blue, playing as Celt, Wack playing as Red, playing as Saracens, uh, K4F Gangle, Gangrel, Gangrel, Gangrel sounds right. Uh, no, Gangrel playing as Teal, playing as Teutons, and Tony Tornado playing as Franks and Purple. Their team, they are playing against we Venus Yellow, playing as Mains, playing as Green. Poz Tammy playing as Goss, playing as Yellow. Al Clan Nand playing as Mongols, playing as Orange, and Poz Cloud playing as Grey, playing as Aztecs. Should be in for a good game. At the moment, we are currently spectating Poz Cloud. So, what do we have? Let's check out the area. Sheep, not too hard to find. Gold, fairly far forward there and down over here. That's not too bad. Could wall off this section here. He's got plenty of room to wall off, unlike a lot of other ghost like matches. So consistently on food there, and continuing putting up his first lumber camp there. Let's have a look at how the rest of his team is doing. Lumber camp going up, sheep have been found, no real problem. Gold at the back there, so definitely got archers on the table there, especially playing as mains. Definitely going to have those archers out early and going to be able to defend this gold mine. Extremely easy. We have Anand over here, I'll just refresh the scores quickly. Nand lumber camp up has back two back golds and his area though it'll be annoying to wall it off especially with this area over in here the ice coming in here and we have Tammy down over here berries at the front so easily harassable however getting that wall up nice and quickly gold towards the back shouldn't have too much trouble until tawny Tony starts coming down here and will be able to harass this gold right here stone at the back too there so could potentially send it to Mayans and this gold here, what are you playing as? Goss. Goss going to be able to get Huskulls out very, very quickly. And especially with this, he does, he has quite a good position. The opposing team position, farms already up, both bore in. Playing as the Franks, so definitely going to be wanting to get knights out as quick as possible. That'll probably be the goal here. I uh, don't know if I'd expect too much harassment. Blue, 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 playing as Kelt. Already got some militia out by the looks of it. Looks like he's going to be going for a Drush on a 4v4 Ghost Like That is very uncommon. Whack, what are you up to? Three farms, nice position. Two back golds, not too bad. And K4F, what are you up to? You are possibly AFK. <laughs> Looking at those villages, I can't really tell. So blue coming in here, and it looks like he's trying to get some harassment on these villages here. Going to be bad if Poz goes up, though, before these militia get down here, because then he'll be able to get those archers out, and those archers will just be able to peg off those militias extremely easy. Walling up, though, completely, so could be going for a fast castle, playing as Aztecs, definitely on the cards, could get those eagle warriors out very quickly. However, don't know whether or not he'll be able to get in quick enough to get these guys here in and it looks like the wall off's nearly done just this side over here is lacking has he seen that he has seen that he knows it's there but and getting these militia in these militia are in and just distracting these villagers here doing a good job of it too what do we got over here more scouting going on nothing really going on at this position this is where most of the action seems to be happening at the moment everyone going up to feudal age now these militia constantly harassing down over here what do we got market coming up here means we can expect a blacksmith as well Blacksmith, where are you being located? There we go, Blacksmith coming up. They're reinforcing this wall on this side here. Of course, that is probably the better side to be reinforcing at this point. How have we gone? So, got rid of those militia. Nope, militia is still in the game. And they've gone up to Man at Arms. Playing as Celts, always a decent idea. And he might lose a few villages here, actually. Two, and what have we got down here? Yellow is inside Tony Tornado's base with archers. Doing quite a bit of damage there, killing off two villages by the looks of it. Scouts coming in though to counter. So going to be doing quite a bit of damage to those archers if he's not careful the way that he positions them. He's going to be going out here. And tower was coming up there, losing that forward tower. That's going to cost him dearly. So we've got Nand and we're about to have Post Cloud go up into Castle Age as well. House is coming up, continuing trying to get units into this base here. So up to Castle Age now. What can we be expecting? Aztecs, I'd be expecting Monastery. Could it even be going for a fast imperial away? This is pulling off. No, nope, town center, so he's going for the boom. It looks like he might get in here though. And he's in. However, this town center is going to put up quite a bit of resistance. Not good. Oh, getting. nearly getting past the town center there. Very, very close. What do we have going on? Anything else? Not really. This is where it appears most of the action is taking place. 
K4F going up then into Castle Age already quite quickly. However, I wasn't really expecting him to be that quick, especially with the way he was playing earlier. Nothing against him, but it just seemed like he didn't have his complete head in the game. Man at Arms moving down over to Yellow now, who is funny enough playing as Green. And continuing to push in with these archers and skirmishes here. Of course, playing as Goss is probably not the best choice to be using. It could be using those spears as well at the moment, being able to do a lot of damage to these cavalry and get the bonus on their infantry as well, having them extremely cheap. So, not a lot else going on at this point. Just continually fighting it off and continuing to fight it on. There's a lot of different tactics being used right now. We've got knights coming out now, most likely coming over here to aid out in these archers over here. Knights, of course, being extremely good versus archers. And we can see Poz is just booming at the moment. Absolutely booming. He's on 54 population. Not a massive one, but remember, it's all villagers to this point. What do we have? We have K4F coming down here. It looks like he might be coming in to Cloud's base. No, nope, heading around here, going in to Tammy's. And there we go, so getting some harassment on that wood supply there. And a spearman already on the creation. A good plan, having them out. He probably expect these knights to be coming in very quickly. Continuing to wall off, expanding his reach there. Probably a good plan. And purple managing to fight off yellow's advance at this point. Probably a good tactic right now. Archers over here going to be able to kill these off. Spear coming in there though, very smart plan. And... Spears, of course, being the weapon of choice versus this cavalry. Putting up a town center here, however, it may be blocked by these knights, and they're taking out those knights too quickly. Not going to be able to do enough damage there to get them. So let's have a look. Everyone's pretty much just booming at this point. Doing it smart. Everyone's walled in. No point wasting those resources. Blue down here, though, not walled. And anybody else who hasn't walled. It doesn't look yellow's walled too much either. And everyone else appears to be pretty well walled. Wow, good job there from Wack. Wack walling this entire side here. Going to be able to keep his opponents out of this side and is going to be able to expand back here without too much. And going Imperial at 27 minutes. So we'll be looking at a 30, 31 minute Imperial. And with Aztecs, that means he's going to be able to get a lot of powerful units, especially those Eagle Warriors with that plus 4 attack bonus. We'll be able to do quite a bit of damage. Over here, Purple coming in with a retaliation against Yellow from earlier. Not doing a lot though. Not going to be able to do a lot. Siege Workshop coming outside. Purple though. Going to be able to fight his way in if this comes up. Especially get some mangonels out. Going to do a hell of a lot of damage to these skirmishes. And it looks like he may lose all this. However, let's have a look. What do we got? Who are you again? I can't remember who Yellow is. Yellow is... Pause. Tammy. What do we have coming out? Battering Ram. So not going for a... Manganel yet, but coming in now. Cloud going up to the Imperial Age. So what do we have from Cloud? Any military buildings at all yet? Hell of a lot of barracks. That's what we have. And we have Eagle Warriors with maximum upgrades going to be coming out very, very soon. Battering Rams up. Going to be trying to bust through here. And going to try and double walls. No, he's not. But he may want to wall this section here again as he is coming straight. In. Whack going into the Imperial Age now too. This is going to be an Imperial Age game. Not many games do make it to this stage. Being smart though, bringing that Manganel out now. And absolutely destroying those skirmishes just there. Walls coming up. However, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to help too much. And what do we have down over here? Lots of archers from green in there. Of course, being mains, we can expect that to come in here. And we've got Pause Cloud in here as well, continuing to fight on here. Elite Eagle Warriors now. Is he going to have a castle up soon? Doesn't look like he's going for a castle in particular. And Knights coming in here to take down these ramps. Extremely smart play there. Let's have a look at Cloud. What are you doing? Doesn't look like he's going for a castle at this stage. Let's have a look. Any military buildings around at all? Not buildings. Units. All his units appear to be down here fighting. Just streaming across the map at this point. Doing an extremely good job of it too. What do we have? Any other upgrades being done for these Eagle Warriors? Let's have a look at the Smith. Where are you, Smith? You were over here somewhere. Hmm. I've lost the Smith, you guys. There it is. This tree seems to have moved. Doesn't look like he's doing too much. And Tony Tornado is out right now. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to do much against a castle coming up in his forward base. Manganel there. We've got two guys up here. Absolutely destroying it. Completely out of the score running, as you can see. Only on 3,000 points, whereas El Clan Nan being on 7,000. Absolutely destroying this side over here. Coming in with Manganels and Trebuchets. You don't often see Trebuchets because it doesn't usually get to this stage in the game. And here come the Elite Mangadai. Maximum upgrades on them already. And just fighting their way in and just leaving hell in their wake. Coming in through here, continuing to fight and do damage. It looks like this castle... Nope. 
Is that Castle taking fire, or is it the one on the side? So Alistair Vich going down now, there, so Blue is down as well. Looks like he was getting pushed into extremely hard, so not much he could do about it. And we have a Castle coming up here, probably the main reason he has decided to resign out. Over here doing extreme damage on this side. This, it looks like it's going to be down to Whack. Whack is just going to be trying to hold these guys off as long as possible, just to be trolling. I'm interested to see how long he can actually hold them off for. But absolutely destroyed on this side here. And here we go, Whack is going to be starting to get fighted in on it. Saracens, of course, so he's going to be able to hold off the Mongols quite easily if they continue to use Mangadai and Lycav. As you can see, doing a lot of damage there. But until then, there's not a lot he's going to be able to do. And we have Plumed Archers running in through here. Eagle Warriors coming in the back. Not a lot he's going to be able to do against it. Going to want to get these trebuchets up to take out these castles at the moment. And doesn't look like they're moving up that much. They're not too fast at this point. It's just Whack on his own. And there we go. Whack resigning, knowing he's not going to be able to hold them off. And just the only reason he would stay in the game would just to be trolling. Alright, so thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.